Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be pushing top ladder using 3.0 Expo Cycle as always. So, we are currently at 7272 trophies, number 702 in the world, pretty interesting numbers, but we are going to be trying to push to top 500 in the world today, and so that's probably going to be at least 3 wins. So you guys have given me a lot of positive feedback on my ladder videos so far, hopefully going to keep more ladder videos coming this season, and stay tuned for those. So, without further ado, let's get right into the matches and hope we can get some pretty nice games. Alright, and we're into our first match against a Japanese player from Sword Dance, gonna give him the good luck. And so, I have actually played quite a few players from this clan before, and in my experience most of them play Log Bait, so not gonna say that my opponent does have Log Bait right away. We do see Electro Spirit and Log, so definitely gonna be some kind of cycle deck. Uh, and I'm probably just gonna go for an Expo with this Archer. We also see the Skeletons, which means it's gonna be a faster cycle deck, and we see Archer Queen and Valk, so definitely gonna have to let this Expo go. There's no point overfitting so early on when it's just going to get taken out. I can just go for Skeletons on this Archer Queen. And Espirit comes down, which means I'm going to have to go for Espirit of my own. But it still gets fully taken out. And so I'm actually thinking this might be Mortar. Um, because Valak Archer Queen and Fast Cycle reminds me of Mortar. But uh, my opponent actually does have Electro Spirit. So maybe not. I'm going to split my Archers uh, higher up. So that if my opponent does go in with a Mortar or something like that, I can uh, have them higher. I'm going to go for an Expo now because... I did outcycle my opponent's Valkyrie, he's gonna have to cycle back with the Skeletons, and Arch Queen comes down again, Not again not gonna overcommit right now, it's very early in the match, and if I, uh, I think I can just firewall all this back, if my opponent goes for the ability I'll just go Skeletons, and he does, so I'm gonna go for Skeletons there, and one, looks like one actually does unfortunately hit my tower, um, but I think it's actually going to be Expo, because if it if it was Mortar, uh, my opponent wouldn't have the Electro Spirit. And I can't think of any other deck that has Valkyrie Archer Queen with this kind of Electro Spirit. And there's the Expo. Going to go for Knight and Tesla, and Archers as well, because if I just went for Knight Tesla, the standard defense against an Expo in single, I like to say, um, it wouldn't suffice, because my opponent also had a Tesla down. So as you can see, he even goes for the Log, and I'm still able to shut it down. Going to cycle Espirit at the bridge. And I'm going to go for an Expo now, because my opponent did just waste his Tesla. And so, he's going to have to go for either Valkyrie or Archer Queen. Not going to have the Tesla in cycle. So I can go for Skeletons now to predict possibly the Archer Queen coming down. And Knight as well. And there it comes. I'm going to fireball everything. Really nice fireball value here. And Archer Queen does go invisible, so my Expo is going to lock on the tower. And so this is... Uh, Espirit does unfortunately reset it, but Queen gets taken out, and you can definitely abuse Archer Queen decks by make, taking advantage of when they go invisible. So I'm going to go for an offensive expo, I think. I was considering defensive. My opponent goes for one too. So I'm going to go for a knight like this, and Archers to quickly DPS down the Valkyrie. And my expo should uh, target onto his tower. There it goes, and my Tesla is going to take out his expo. I'm going to go Espirit and Skeleton just to reset the Tesla, get even more of an expo connection. And Log was a bit of an overcommitment there, but uh, Expo does get way more damage. I'm going to have to defend now because I'm going to be down quite a bit of Elixir. So uh, Knight to tank for now, and then I'm going to have to go for a Fireball and everything, and Archers too. And I think I'm going to get back to my Log to just take out most of the Expo. And so we defend just fine. We take a bit of damage, but I think we're definitely fine. We are going to be down Elixir again, though, so we're going to have to defend. But this time I'm going to go for Knight Tesla, kind of uh, changing things up since I went for a lower Knight last time. And looks like my opponent does mess up his Valkyrie because Tesla locks onto the Expo. That's definitely going to be a dead Expo. And so my opponent goes for an Archer Queen 2, just going to Fireball it back. Very standard defense. You'll notice that in this game I Fireballed it back at least twice so far. I'm going to log it back too. And ability gets wasted, so I can definitely go in now. Opponent goes for an Expo. Going to do the same exact Knight placement. Um, and my opponent should not have enough to play anything in time. Yep, didn't have enough to play Valk in time. X was going to get lock on the tower, and that's going to be the first game. So, actually didn't know if my opponent had a fireball or a rocket there, but either way, we kept up the pressure and punished my opponent, and when we went in at the exact same time, uh, we got a really good uh, connection. And he looks like he did actually have the fireball, but it didn't really matter. Um, so, really nice first win. Going to put us at number 641 in the world. Let's keep it going. Alright, into the next match against at Arcturus, and I do actually know this person, so I'm going to give him the good luck, and I've actually uh, played against him a few times before in a Grand Challenge, and on ladder, I believe he's an Ice Bow player, going to go for Queen, so just going to Fireball it, fails the King activation, which doesn't really matter, since I am playing Expo after all, 
and I can just log it back when it gets closer. But yeah, this person is an ice wheel player, actually really good. I uh, used to learn from his grand challenge replays quite a bit. I'm gonna go for skeleton just in case the queen gets a uh, hit on my tower, and we're doing pretty well. So I'm gonna cycle archers now up high, and Valkyrie comes down. I'm gonna go for next one. This is most definitely just gonna be ice bow with archer queen instead of the ice wizard. Goes for skeleton, so expo will actually lock on the tower, which is surprising because. I guess it's a critical mistake by my opponent, uh, letting it lock on like that, but he's gonna make a smart play here going for an expo. Just gonna fireball everything, not panic, and try and get a log down as fast as I can. And I will have a much higher damage lead. Well played with the log. Okay, actually I thought the log would clip my Electro Spirit, so the idea by my opponent was definitely there, but... Uh, yeah, we come out with a much higher damage, um, lead than my opponent. Gonna go Skeletons to cycle back to my Knight. They kind of sponge most of the damage from this queen. Shouldn't get any hits on my tower. Knight does turn around and looks like it doesn't get a second hit on the queen, so it, I'm going to take one tower shot, but there's definitely no point over committing with archers there because uh, it, I'm still up a lot of damage, and it was just one queen hit. It's not a big deal. So now we're in a really good position, actually, against Expo Archer Queen. So I can just wait here. I don't need to play anything since uh, I'm up. Momentum's in my side. He's going to go for a Tesla. So I'm going to go for an offensive Expo. And he actually goes for an Expo Tesla at the bridge. Just going to go low archers. Low archers so that uh, they don't instantly get taken out by the Tesla, as opposed to if it went high. Just going to fireball log this Expo and uh, get damage on the tower, as well as the fact that my opponent did not have much elixir at all because of that super aggressive play. don't know why he did that. Um, so I'm able to get more damage on the right as well. So I'm just going to go for an E-Spirit and Knight for this Queen. I can go Archers after to tank a bit more of the HP. So I'm just going to go for Archers now. And I can actually counter push with this X. We're going to keep up pressure so that uh, I won't let my opponent just get a free rocket on my tower. I'm going to keep up pressure. Just going to log. And I think no point going for a Knight since the Valk is already pretty close. So I'm just going to let the Expo die, but I will try and cycle back. Goes for an Archer Queen, and I'm actually just going to Fireball Tower, because uh, uh, it's basically in range of another Fireball and a Log. So I'm going to go low E-Spirit as well, and then he goes for an Expo in the right, which I'm just going to go for a Tesla and Archers to shut it down, and Archers take out the Skeletons. My opponent makes a mistake on the Valkyrie, which my last opponent just did as well, letting the Tesla lock on the tower. I'm just going to go Fireball Log to finish it off. And my opponent's going to be forced to go Rocket here, so 6 Elixir that he probably didn't want to spend. And I'm going to be up a lot of damage, and this is actually a super rare situation. Expo Tower Trade, can't say I've been in this position many times before on ladder. In like other matches, sure, if I play really risky, but on ladder, this is just strange for sure. But I'm just going to go for a low knight in case he goes for queen in the pocket. He goes for queen low instead, so I can just defensive Expo. And it's actually going to do pretty well because uh, he's going to be forced to rocket it or rocket my tower, which he does, which is fine. I can just fireball the tower back, and as you can see, Expo's helping out against the Queen. Expo is surprisingly a really great card against the Archer Queen, and he goes for a Tesla, so I'm going to go for a Knight and then Expo. Knight first, so that the Tesla doesn't go on to my Expo first, and this is going to be a pretty good push. He's going to go for a low Valk, which means he's probably going to be pretty low on Elixir. Going to go Archers at the bridge to instantly DPS this down. Goes for a Tornado, which is well played, but I'm going to cycle back to my Knight. And Tesla is down, but Knight should take it out as well. And this should be a really good push. Forced to go for another Valk, which he definitely doesn't want to go for. So I'm going to go for a Tesla now, because it's also going to stay alive if my opponent wants to go for another Expo. And it's forced to go Queen ability. I can just cycle two Fireballs at this point. So it goes for a last ditch Expo, but I can just go for a Knight. Cycle back to my Fireball, pretty stress-free. And that's going to be the win. So, one of the weirdest Expo Mirror matches I've played in my life, not going to lie. But we came out with the win, so can't complain there. We were able to pick it up. Alright, so into the next match against Karim is God, and I believe we are one win away from top 500 now. So if we get this win, it should be really great. Gonna go Electro Spirit at the bridge to see what my opponent has. Chooses to activate King with Skeletons, actually fails. Um, so he's upset about that. Just gonna cycle Skeletons. And now I can split archers. Pretty safe, non-committal, risk-free play. And he goes for a goblin cage. So, goblin cage skeletons log um, is actually looking pretty bad. And he's spamming the laugh uh, emote. So, this is looking like it might actually be... Yeah, it's going to be Royal Hog's Earthquake Cycle, which is arguably one of the hardest matchups in the entire game for Expo. So, this is looking pretty bad already. Um, going to fireball these Royal Hogs and because I didn't have Tesla. Gonna go for an expo now with this knight. 
and he gives the good game for some reason, but uh, Expo should put up a pretty decent push, and I'm going to log this queen back as well, and Expo does lock on a tower, but queen unfortunately takes it out pretty easily. So I do t get a bunch of damage, but that's actually not that good, because it's also in my lower tower side as well, and I know, yeah, my, there goes the pigs, gonna go Tesla and E-Spirit. Could not play Tesla in the optimal position because I had to get it down as fast as possible, so I might take a bit of Royal Hog's damage as a result, but that was the best case scenario. Um, he's giving it a good game for some reason, and he's BMing a lot, so I don't know why he's BMing so much when he has a 100-0 matchup, but uh, we are not really going to be bothered by that. We're going to just try and win uh, and play our best. Um, even though it is a bad matchup, there's no point giving up because you can always win, especially if my opponent's so focused on emotes that he might forget to play a card or something and I can get a lock. I don't know, but he cycles Earthquake, and this is the issue. They can freely cycle Earthquakes pretty much whenever they want because they have Royal Hog. going to go for a lower Tesla since Earthquake was just used. So I don't need to go for a preemptive high Tesla that can just get sniped by the Archer Queen. Gonna go Archers and Knight for this Goblin Brawler now. And I'm gonna go for an Expo since my opponent did just use Earthquake. I was hoping my Knight would walk into the left actually, so that's kind of sad. Gonna Fireball this Goblin Cage um, to hopefully get a connection. Goes for a last minute E-Spirit, so unfortunately not able to get that. Gonna log this Brawler back, and I shouldn't need to commit any more to it. And now we have to watch out for Royal Hog since we don't have Expo and Cycle either, so I'm just going to split Archers and get my Tesla ready. Looks like he's not going to go in. And I'm going to go for a Knight in the back to match the Goblin Cage. And he is cycling Earthquakes, which kind of sucks, and goes for an Archer Queen. Kind of predicting my Expo. Going to Fireball the Archer Queen back, go for Skeletons, and Expo does take out the Archer Queen. Although Log leaves the Expo with very low HP and it doesn't get any hits. This is like... This is where the Expo nerf in December really hurts, because Expo versus spells, especially Earthquake, is just so weak. But gonna go for an Expo now, kind of getting kind of desperate, gonna fireball this Skullman Cage too, and we were almost able to get a connection, but we weren't, just barely weren't. Well, we are now, but again, it's not ideal, because this is why I wouldn't go same lane, since they can just get Earthquake value, and wow, he's cycling Earthquake so aggressively again. Gonna split Archers and maybe try and set up an Expo push. Although my opponent does have Royal Hogs in Cycle, which means we're going to have to get ready to Fireball if he goes for them. He goes for two Goblin Cages, so I'm going to Fireball both. And Expo, he's still t uh, getting his Cycle cards down in time, unfortunately. Going to try and kite this Goblin Brawler out of Expo range, and it actually works, so I get a connection. Very small one, but might be very important. He's going to Cycle Archers again, and I might go for Defense. Well, there's no point going for a Defensive Expo, I guess, because... He could just ignore it and Earthquake my other tower. If he doesn't go Royal Hogs, there's nothing to defend against. Gonna cycle a log. I'm gonna need to cycle back to another Expo. So this is looking really bad, actually. My left side tower is getting pretty low, too. Gonna go Archers, both in the same lane. And I knew he would go for a Queen, so I'm gonna go for an Expo in the middle. Go for a Knight as well. And Fireball the Cage. Hopefully I can get a connection here. Looks like he does get the delivery down in time to tank. So I'm gonna go for Archers again. I'm kinda stacking Archers at this point. Going for an Expo right away since my opponent did just waste his Earthquake. And my Expo actually locked on somehow. Gonna Fireball this Goblin Brawler, Goblin Cage right away. E-Spirit does chain on to Tower somehow. Gonna go Skeletons to predict. And gonna go Archers and try and go for another Expo. There isn't much time left at all. Cannot let that E-Spirit connect to Tower. Gonna go for an Expo right now. And my opponent wastes the Queen ability. Well, not waste, but goes for it. Gonna predict if Fireball the Cage and predicting log the e-spirit and skeletons as well possibly go for e-spirit and skeletons at the bridge and oh okay <laughs> like i can't even say anything but my opponent somehow i'm gonna like, bm him because he was bming the entire game and somehow my archers got on his tower at the very last minute when i had like 300 hp on my tower left but that is just insane a win against uh earth royal hogs earthquake which is just ridiculous my opponent was not the best player, but pretty decent player. And that, I believe, should put us at top 500, which is amazing. Yep, 471 in the world. So, really great push, really insane last match. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you enjoy more ladder videos. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.